Hello, everybody. This is Nico Alexopoulos. I am the coaching director for Just for Keepers here in New Jersey. And uh, today is uh, June 19th, 2017. Getting close for everybody to be graduating out of uh, middle school, high school, college, and whatnot. But we're also getting uh, ready. And actually, some of the camps across the country for Just for Keepers have began. So just wanted to take a, a couple of minutes and just share some photos and videos from the first camp that went uh, went off in our region. This is in Pennsylvania, uh, which is uh, uh, led by uh, the, the coaching director there, uh, Simon Robinson. And I'll go over some of his credentials. But um, again, uh, you know, the, this is the first camp in our region. Um, our uh, New Jersey camps are going to be going off July uh, 7th and 8th as well as 25th and 26th. We're going to be two of them, one weekend and one weekday. Uh, so here's a picture of the camp that just that was just completed uh, this past weekend. Uh, as you can see, all the kids receive um, goalkeeping kits as well as goalkeeping gloves. You see all of them wearing the new J4K gloves, some really quality gloves, and I'll show you some of the gloves as well, uh, as well as the coaches. So let's go and uh, um, go over some... Uh, photos and some videos let's see why this is not changing on me the slide here we go okay so first of all let's go to uh just for keepers website on facebook uh simon robinson as i said he is the goalkeeping uh, director in pennsylvania this is simon right here uh and with one of his uh, students actually um he's been i believe uh training with simon now for like six or seven years um the um, camp went off at the Moravian Academy in, in Pennsylvania, a great facility. Uh, Simon is the Northeastern USA Region Director uh, for Just for Keepers, as well as the uh, Eastern Pennsylvania uh, ODP coaching head coach. So very good qualifications. And um, here are some photos of this past camp. As, uh, as this past weekend was kind of raining, some of the camp happened indoors. This is some of the coaches there. Um, let's see. Let's go over some of the photos here. And let me see. <laughs> before they moved indoors as the rains came down uh, these are the pictures of the goalkeepers there were 67 goalkeepers I believe in attendance in this camp um, the groups of the goalkeepers are you know broken down boys girls um, they go down they break it down by ability as well as age yeah, we, uh, uh, let's just share some couple, couple videos yeah, that's where so the goalkeepers as I said are, are broken down by age, by gender, yeah, we, and uh, by ability, uh, and then the the trainers uh, are making adjustments if the goalkeeper is a better quality goalkeeper than he's, you know, and, and lower age, they might move him up, or vice versa. So um, this is uh, one of the uh, trainers basically showing the collapse dive technique. <clears throat> the girls are working together, the younger boys are working together, as you can see all the groups are broken down to individual groups. Uh, let's go and share some pictures of you guys. Here's another video. The girls are working together on positioning. A very key element of goalkeeping. You see goalkeepers diving all over the place. And spectacular to make the and making those dives. Uh, a quality goalkeeping coach will tell you if they were positioned better, they may not have to take those, uh, make those dives more videos of the uh, girls positioning themselves some more photos uh -huh. we try 
to go last night. There's a Brazilian steakhouse right in the As you can see, the goalkeepers have broken down in different segments. Oh, no. Again, once again, depending on their ability, depending on their age, as well as gender. So you might have you know, a, a lower age goalkeeper, but he's really high quality trained with the older goalkeepers and vice versa. Uh, sometimes we'll mix the boys with the girls depending on, the, uh, on their ability as well as the age, but uh, quality, quality weekend of goalkeeping training uh, just for keepers are uh, basically uh, an international academy based out of the uh, um, UK. Ray Newland is the owner, uh, but they, we have uh, schools throughout the uh, United States as well as 52 or 53 other countries by now, kind of lost control. But anyway, these are uh, some of the photos, some of the fun photos that, uh, you know, some of the parents shared, as well as uh, Simon. So just wanted to go over. Uh, here are the reins, by the way. The, the goalkeepers were troopers. It's raining. And they're still training. Fantastic job by everybody. Again, goalkeepers love to get dirty and dive and why not, so that was a, quite a fun opportunity to roll around in the grass while it's wet. It was some seriously fun times. More video of the girls working on collapsed dives. Some more pictures and so on and so forth. So once again, these are this was the Pennsylvania camp that just happened at the Meridian Academy. Uh, quality, quality venue and quality camp by Simon Robinson always does a fantastic job. Like as I said, the uh, uh, this was a picture from last year's camp. So the camp average is about 50, 60 uh, goalkeepers per year. This year was 67, and the numbers are growing as as people realize uh, the quality of the camp. So uh, the New Jersey camps, by the way, if you go to Just for Keepers, here's the website, JustForKeepersNJ.com, JustForKeepersNJ.com. And if you click on camp schedule, right now there are two goalkeeping camps about to go off. There's still some room uh, in both camps. Uh, one is July 8th and 9th. The other one is July 25th and 26th. Both are in Jackson. And same same situation as, as the... Um, as the uh, Pennsylvania camp, all the all the uh, goalkeepers receive a training kit as well as free gloves. I believe currently we have, uh, I think there's about 31 or 32, oh, wrong one, 31 or 32 goalkeepers enlisted in the camp. Here are, the, you know, the uh, camps. Uh, 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 a lot of uh, 12, 13, 11 year olds, There's some younger ones, a couple 17 year olds. So nice mixture of goalkeepers so far. Like I said, I believe there's about 30, 31 goalkeepers signed up. So the opportunity to sign up still goes on. We still have plenty of time, um, more or less uh, a full month of, of sign up. So take your uh, take the opportunity to, to sign up. If you go to, as I said, uh, www just for keepersnj.com and if you scroll on our website you'll see the camp schedule there's plenty of uh, of pictures here you can see from the camps in New Jersey testimonials videos a lot of good stuff that you guys can go over and uh, see what the camps all about uh, if you have any uh, questions that uh, you like to go over or um, uh, any information that we may have covered uh, please feel free to contact us at 732-580-2174 that's 732-580-2174. Um, I will be traveling to Spain in, uh, in um, um, on Friday, I'm sorry, from June 23rd, coming back July 2nd, uh, taking a um, uh, a team to compete there at the Mediterranean Cup. Uh, we're actually visiting training in, in Madrid uh, with Real Madrid uh, staff as well as Barcelona. Uh, we're doing two cities, and we're actually playing in the Mediterranean Cup in, in Barcelona. So it's a great opportunity for one of the teams that uh, that we're taking there. Um, but uh, in my in my uh, uh, absence, uh, the manager he will be able to answer any questions for you guys, um, and um, you know sign you up, or if you have any other you know information that you need. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, uh, the, we are in the middle of working out uh, the details to possibly do a camp at Warwick Superdome. Uh, it is located in um, Hopper Avenue in Warwick. The details have not been finalized yet, so don't hold off, you know, uh, in attending one of the camps that you have now. This camp, if it happens, and again, it's, you know, we're still trying to figure out the logistics of it, um, you know, may happen later on uh, this year. But um, if you're interested in, in, in attending camp now, take the opportunity to definitely sign up uh, for the ones in, in July coming up. Uh, that's it for now. Everybody have a great, great uh, week. Uh, happy graduation to everybody. We look forward to seeing you at the camps.